All SpongeBob SquarePants characters represent disorders. In most episodes, SpongeBob can never stay still, like someone with ADHD. Squidward has social anxiety disorder. He hates social interactions and is always depressed. Mr. Krabs has obsessive compulsive disorder. You can see how he's obsessed with money, and he only cares when it comes to his own selfish needs or his daughters. Star Patrick has mental retardation or some sort of intellectual disability. Do I really need to explain myself? Sandy Cheeks has borderline personality disorder. Sandy has mood swings in most of her episodes. One moment she's chill and another moment she's running after Spongebob like a bulldozer. Plankton is a pure narcissist. He can't handle seeing Mr. Krab succeed and tries to destroy the Krusty Krab more than fix his own restaurant. This is such an interesting way to introduce mental illness to kids without even demonizing it. And these representations of major illnesses might have something to do with how popular the show is with adults. But I bet you never realized.